Hello, my little sparkles. I hope that you're having a great day. This is Missy at Color Sparkle Shine, and I cannot believe that we're here at this month already. <laughs> I'm announcing what we're doing for the month of November. I feel like I just did this for October. The, I don't know what's going on, but man, these burr months are like flying by. Next month, we're going to be doing Christmas. I can't believe it. But anyways, we're going to get into it because I have a lot to share. So, of course, I have a whole bunch of opened books open because I just wanted to show you some ideas of what we're going to be doing. So, of course, we're going to be doing my Buddy Colors, the Color Hunts, the Alpha Challenge, and the Channel Color Along. So, <laughs> we have a lot to share, so I want to get into those. So, my it seems to me as I went through and I looked through the past two months that my channel has been open and I've been running these challenges... I think you guys' favorite thing is the color hunt. So I think that's where we're going to go first. So we actually have five this month. I thought I would branch out a little bit and do five since you guys like them so much. And I'm going to do them Thanksgiving-y kind of theme so that they're easy to remember. And guys, don't get overwhelmed. All of this is going to be linked down below with the hashtags. The only thing I ask you guys, please remember that, yes, use the hashtags, but you also have to tag me. Just sometimes if you use just the hashtags, I don't always see it, especially if you and I are not friends on Instagram. But the deal is, is if you do any of my challenges on my channel, if you tag me and use the appropriate hashtag, I will pin your coloring art to my channel and put it in my Instagram stories. Just don't forget to tag me so that I see it. When I open up my Instagrams, I see it immediately. If you just use the hashtags, if we're not friends, more than likely I won't, sorry, I won't be able to see it. And I don't want to miss out on somebody's work. So anyways, our color hunt tags, if you will, are turkey, family, pilgrim, Indian, and pie. I mean, I just thought that would be so appropriate. So this is a great example of an Indian I am sure there are fantastic, cute little coloring books out there for Thanksgiving. I might be looking for one for myself, but I have this adorable book here. It's called Boho Elegant Beauties. I don't know who the author of this book is. It came out last year. I don't know, it might be AI for all I know. It is grayscale. I do enjoy coloring these, but I think she's a beautiful little Indian here, and I love that she has a sunflower in her in her hair. So I thought that something like this would be perfect, but I'm also going to show you what else we could do for that. So let me skip over this one. We're going to go into this book. So, of course, we got turkey. This would be appropriate. And I also saw some things in these books. Um, let me just show you for like, I don't know if it's this book or my other book. I have so many of them out here. And I didn't want to mark them all because I have the ones that I marked um, to do my um, finished pages with. And I didn't want to get that confused. Let me just do a quick flip through. Okay, so something like this would be great. So see, we have a turkey down here. We also have a pilgrim hat. That would work. We also have a pie. <laughs> so anything like this would go. This would also work for our alpha challenge. Our alpha challenge, we're going right in sequence, is we're on the letter C. So C for corn. So anything like this would go. Anything like, like anything. I have a couple more of these. I just don't know which book they're in. <laughs> so here we go. We have a pie. That's You could definitely use something like that. And then here we go. You could use this page as well because it has a pilgrim hat. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a full pilgrim, but you have a pilgrim hat here. That would be fine. This page also would work for my alpha challenge for the letter C because there's cookies. So there's so much that we can do. So I just want to keep you guys in mind and don't get overwhelmed. I know I'm going kind of fast. Everything is broke down into categories and to groups. So once again, our color hunts are turkey, pilgrim, Indian, pie. Oh, and I wanted to show you family. So we got Indian, 
Pilgrim, Pie, Ooh, let me see, I got so many books, Turkey, and then I think it's this one. This would be another great page for our color hunts. Here is a Pilgrim hat, here is a pie. This would totally work for something like that. And this would be something that I would consider family, something around a table, um, a grouping of people, a grouping of gnomes. Um, I know Teresa Goodrich has a whole bunch of like little gnome books out there. Anything that you would consider family, this, this, this to me would be a perfect page for that. So I just feel like family is appropriate because family is huge for the month of November. It's big for December too, but I really feel like people go out of their way for Thanksgiving to get together because usually that's right before the weather gets bad and stuff like that, at least in my experience. So we have turkey, family, pilgrim, Indian pie. So those are just some good examples for our color hunts. Those seem to be you guys' favorites. So that's why I focused on them first. Now I'm going to show you our buddy colors. We're doing one we're doing both of them out of Teresa Goodrich. I find that a lot of you have her books. They're very popular, especially this time of the month. So we're going to be doing mugs. So this is going to be our buddy color. So again, you use the hashtag, hashtag CSS buddy color, tag me. You color this page and I will put it on my Instagram stories and pin it in my highlights on my page. I think this is so appropriate. It's adorable. It says give thanks. You can also tag it twice because you could also use it for your little pilgrim cookie down here. Actually, you could tag it three times if you wanted to. It could be our buddy color. You can do it for color hunt for pilgrim and you can do it for our alpha challenge for letter C, which would be cookies. So you can actually tag this page three different ways or three times if you would like. <laughs> I think this page kind of fits in to everything. So I just thought this was adorable. So I was super happy with that one. And that one is out of Autumn Harvest by Teresa Goodridge, the Creative Haven um, collection, if you will. And then the next one is another Creative Haven book. It is Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodridge, I believe. Is this one her new one or is this one her new one? One of these came out this year and one of these came out last year. I don't know if they let us know. Okay, this one came out 2021. So this is this is like a year or two ago. This is her brand new one. So this is going to be our other buddy color. I think it's so appropriate. It says happy Thanksgiving. And it also has a turkey on it. So you could use it for color hunt and you can use it for our buddy color. So I'm trying to make it really easy so that you can use one page multiple times, but I just think that this is so appropriate. So these are our two buddy colors. Let me put them in frame. These are our two buddy colors this month. I think they're absolutely adorable. They're definitely fitting for the month. I just think they're so beautiful. I don't think I showed you um, this page. This is out of Country Kitchen Charm Coloring Book. And this would be a beautiful page for pie, which is part of our color hunts. So much that we can do, guys. There's just so much to do, okay? So with all of that, and I think I've given you pretty good examples too, the letter C is our alpha challenge. So you would use the hashtag CSS alpha challenge Make sure you tag me and anything that starts with the letter C. And of course, we covered cookies. So I have it written down here some morning so that I wasn't stuttering because there's a, actually a lot that starts with the letter C. Cats, cups, so you could use cups, cookies, crackers, cream, whipped cream. See the cream on the mugs? Whipped cream. Crayons. I thought that would be fun. I would love to find a page with crayons. Carrots, camera, coin, church, coffee. Come on, who doesn't love to cuff coffee? Chocolate, coin, comb for your hair, cranberries, 
cookie, cake, cow, corn, clean, a picture of somebody cleaning. There's so much that we can find with the letter C. So anything with the letter C goes, it doesn't have to be, you know, seasonally related. You can do anything. I know probably um, 50 farm animals, 50 farm animal miniatures um, would be, have, probably have a cow in it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like cows, anything of that nature goes. Cookies, cups, cream, corn, anything with a C goes. So those are our three types of challenges. We have our color hunts, our alpha challenge, and then our buddy colors. Then this month was the very first month that I had a um, channel color along. You will see that page in my finished pages. Um, I didn't finish it on camera because I started it late, but this month I'm going to be starting this very as soon as the month starts so that we can do sections and you know this will go through the whole month of November. So I chose this adorable page out of Garden of Fairy Tale Animals by Kanoka Agusa. Um, I just think that this is absolutely adorable. It, I know it has a bunnies, bunnies in it. Maybe it looks a little springy, but I just really feel this, I don't know, I just felt really compelled to this page. And it's a little something different and I love coloring woodland animals and I love animals with flower crowns. <laughs> just love it and I just feel like the flowers would be really pretty I just feel like this would be a very challenging page and I would love to do something very creative with the background maybe with some inking or I would love to use maybe some pastels or something of that nature maybe some chalks I don't know I would just love to do something very creative with the background so I feel like this would be a really nice challenge for the month of November for the channel color along. So there's no tag or anything that goes along with this. This is literally just what I'm going to be coloring the month of November on the channel, whether it's pre-filmed videos and um, I speed them up a little bit, or I might try to do one or two lives um, coloring this as well. So this will just, you'll see this progress over the month and I just feel like this, this, this is just beautiful. I absolutely love that. So that's it guys. I hope um, I didn't talk too fast or it wasn't too confusing. Again, if it was, or if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, but everything will be broke down into categories down in the description box. So if you're interested in participating in any of my channel's challenges, please make sure that you check out the description box. So I hope that you guys have a lot of fun this month. I think our buddy colors are going to be absolutely adorable. I absolutely love this page. I love Teresa Goodridge. If I think if I really truly had to pick a favorite um, artist, I think it would be her. I just love her stuff. It's just warm and cozy. So again, these are our two buddy colors for the month of November. And then I'll say it one more time. Our color hunts are turkeys family, pilgrim, Indian, and pie. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun to do this month. I can't wait to see all of you guys. I call them entries, but you're not entering to win anything. But I can't wait to see all the stuff that you guys send me. I get so excited waking up in the morning and I have like 10 notifications because you guys tagged me with all of your beautiful pages. <laughs> So much fun looking at them and putting them on my stories and pinning them on my highlights. I love seeing you guys' work because your work inspires me. It really, truly does. I love seeing, especially when we do the buddy colors and we're all coloring this page and we're all coloring this page. I love seeing how everybody's page looks different. Or you might get a page that looks very similar. I just find that so interesting. I love doing these challenges on my channel. I love doing this stuff together. I think it's so much fun. And I love waking up like for last month, um, our, our alpha challenge was the letter B, of course, because we're going in concession. So it was the letter B. And this lady, I don't remember her name. So please forgive me. She tagged me in a Star Wars coloring book and I'm not really up on my Star Wars and I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it and I'm going I don't get this why why is she doing this for the alpha color and here it was because his name was Bobo Fat and I, <laughs> I didn't know that 
But after I found out that his name was Bobo Fat, and that's why she used that as part of the Alpha Challenge, the Alpha Challenge hashtag, I thought that was so interesting and so unique because I would have never have thought to use that. I just I love that it made me chuckle. I had such a great time. And I had a fantastic time going on into Instagram and you know how like you could find like the little the little dancing memes and stuff to put on the page. I had a fun time trying to find a Bobo Fat because I wanted to see what he looked like. So just a little tidbit. I find that stuff interesting and I love seeing you guys' take on like letters and your color hunts, what you think a turkey or a pilgrim or Indian or a pie or pictures of family. I just, I love seeing you guys' takes on all that. So I highly encourage you to participate in my channel's um, cha challenges, whether it's one, two, or all of them. Have a blast this month, guys. So that's it for me today, guys. Again, if you need to see it written out so that you understand it more clearly, it is all down in the description box. And I highly encourage you, if I can just put this out, to join my private Facebook coloring group. I am announcing on November 1st our Christmas coloring card exchange. And I just put out a video. If you don't know how to make coloring Christmas cards, I just put out a tutorial on how to do it. And I'm announcing that over on the Facebook group on November 1st. So everybody has time to color and get out their cards for Christmas. So we got fun things going on here at Color Sparkle Shine. So check out that Dropbox down below. And before you leave, I would appreciate it so much if you would give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Stick around. Let's see what we're doing for the rest of the months to come and into the new year. Thanks so much for giving up a portion of your day and spending it with me. I'll be talking to you guys very soon. Until then, take care of you. Bye, Sparkles!